what basically made me start snowmobile drag racing, very good friends of mine when I was young, 16, 17 years old, used to snowmobile grass drag race. Being a gearhead, of course, I had to go with them. I uh, got hooked immediately. Uh, it was something I loved, something I thought was just fantastic we could do. I've been snowmobile drag racing for 28 years. We've raced on the grass and both the ice. Keep racing so much, uh, even though we're all starting to get in our twilight years of racing. A lot of people like to see us retire. Of course, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But at least going to 30 years, and then we're going to go from that standpoint. See how it goes. Uh, as far as my favorite part of the racing, believe it or not, is the camaraderie. Uh, myself and my team have an absolute blast. It's probably a crime as much fun as all of us can have together at a drag race. Uh, most people walk around doom and gloom. We're usually bouncing around, laughing, or picking on one another some way or another. We first met Craig, which was about this part. He and I went to Eagle River. He told me that he was going to be racing his snowmobiles. I went with him, and we went up there, and they were, well, it was loud. They were very noisy, and it was a little dirty at first. Yeah. Time. But, I mean, it's dusty. Um, it takes a lot of effort to make all of these snowmobiles go. As ten, Craig has 10 snowmobiles that he races. And he does a great job with all of them. He works on them hard. But my first impression of it was that it was kind of a slow day to just sit there. Because at that point, I really didn't know much about it. And I didn't help out much with the team or the crew, being that I was the new person up in Eagle River. And after that, things changed. Then I started helping out with it and got to know more about the snowmobiles and how they worked. Um, and it was quite an interesting concept to me. And at that point, I thought, well, it, he, being that he was probably the best in the nation at that time, and he is to this day the best in the nation, I, can, I went with him on a lot more trips, and I've probably gone on most of the trips with him since then, most of his racing. How many first place have I got? Uh, gotten, got, whatever, proper English. Oh, I've, I've asked that a lot. Uh, last year was probably our highest first place ever with 91. This year was 57. If you take 28 years on an average, you probably say the beginning five years or so was a whole learning curve, and the last the first 10, then we got stronger and stronger, and we've gotten stronger as years went on. If you take an average of, say, 40 a year times uh, almost 30 years, that's, uh, would that be 1,200? Um, he is probably, I would say Craig is, in the snowmobile world. He's probably one of the most well-known racers for Skidoo, or not just Skidoo, any of the manufacturers. It'd be Polaris, Yamaha, Articat. He, everybody knows, in, Craig Marchbank, you think of Skidoo. Skidoo sponsored me from pretty much the very beginning. Uh, I received a phone call from the race manager at the time, Chester Duval, a uh, definite Frenchman from Quebec. He didn't want to sponsor me, but he was told by his upper echelon that he needed to sponsor us. So actually our first sponsorship through Skidoo came in June of 1982. And uh, the snowmobile is actually sitting right behind me over my right shoulder, the very first sled. Getting extremely large. It's it's uh, grown into a family. It's grown into all forms of uh, BRP racing, as far as snowcross, drag racing, asphalt racing, water skipping. It's it's branched off into the quad division now. And as far as the people at BRP, they're dear friends of mine. Uh, they've been here before. I've been up to Valcor. I've stayed at their house before. I've stayed at the Manuel, which is the mansion for BRP. Uh, absolute blast. Very very dear, good friends. In the very first beginning of our career, the first five years, a little difficult. Uh, we found that we had to build a lot of things ourselves. We couldn't rely on performance shops. So as you see around the shop, the picture she's taking, most of our uh, stuff for the motors is done in-house. Chassis are done in-house. The last 23 years have been just pretty much uh, domination in our sport. Uh, we're revered as one of the best, and it's for good reasons, a lot of hard work. Definitely the biggest victory is the Minnesota Cup. That has absolutely been the most revered thing since I've started racing. The Minnesota Cup has been for 45 years. 
They've been fortunate enough in 45 years to win it six times, and actually this last year they're moving to a brand new site, so the old cup they wanted to retire, and they actually retired it to me permanently, which it used to be a traveling trophy for 45 years. Over the top. We never expected it. Uh, it's something we thought we could have won a diff couple different times. It's a prestigious award Snow Week offers once a year to all forms of uh, snowmobile type racing worldwide and they give it out to one person, one person only. We were fortunate enough to win it in 2005. Finished second a whole bunch of times, but 2005 was our year, so over the top. We had a hell of a party. Absolute blast to have my daughter doing it. Uh, she's having a ball. We helped, she helped, uh, she built, you know, we didn't just build a sled for her. We made her work on it. She had some blood, some sweat, and some tears in it. Uh, but she uh, built it herself, gives her uh, quite a bit of gratification, you know, gratification. Uh, got a ball with her. Uh, looking forward to it this winter and next year. Probably also one of the most important things to me, uh, as they always say, as some corny as it sounds, there is no I in team. Uh, my name is the one that's out there, Craig Marchbank, but absolutely my team, two of my partners have been with me damn near since day one. The other people that come to the races, Gary's wife, my wife, Jeff, Pete, Kenny, Kelly, Jim, we are all just a gigantic team. We have a lot of fun, but everybody's there for the same reason, not to take second. We come to the races to take first. Big head start going to Ole Miss McHugh in lane number three. Six seconds difference. Head start, and then Taylor Watts is going to try and chase her down and give you the first one through the finish line, run closest to his number. What? I'm excited. We're pumped. <laughs> 